गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल माय सेल्फ स्मित प्रोफेसर स्मिता ए टाकळकर एज अ असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन ई एन टी सी डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी विल लर्न द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजिनिअरिंग इन द सब टॉपिक ऑफ रेक्टिफायर ओके लेट्स प्रिव्हियस सेशन इन अ प्रिव्हियस सेशन एस्टरडे आय हॅव टॉट द pn junction diode and diode as a switch then the recall of that previous session diode as a switch this is the diode as a switch He is conducting in a forward bias also in a reverse bias but the diode e it is in open switch in a reverse bias that's why diode is not conducting in a reverse was bias and in a pn junction diode in a p region or the n region it goes for the p region or the n region this is the p n pn region in a n pn region it goes for the p region created for holes and n region created for electrons these two junk electrons and the holes is attracting to both the way for left side as well as right side and the junction c is uh, in a formation here junction that's why the free electrons in n region and the uh, free uh, and the holes is generating in p region the for every electron that diffuses across the junctions every electrons each and every electrons diffuses diffuses here the junction it's combines holes and electrons that is meaning of the depletion region that's why n region is generated or that's why the n region is created positive charge and the p region is created negative charge and that forming after the depletion region is called as barrier potential and the action of continuous in barrier potential voltage which is increases the current is also increases this concept is studied talking about the pn junction diode and the formation of the diode in a forward bias formation of the diode in reverse bias this is the covered in previous session and the vi characteristics if the reverse bias diode is open switch the voltage is breakdown and that's why the barrier potential it's required 0.7 volt in a forward bias it's a conducting forward voltage and the forward current the forward voltage barrier potential voltage is increases the current is also increases and the vi characteristics forming in a voltage and current characteristics in the forward bias but it's a reverse bias diode is open switch and the voltage is break down after the 0.7 volt after the barrier potential voltage is decreases then the constant period of the current is and the voltage is also decreases that's the reason diode is not working in reversed bias and last one diode as a switch this concept is opening for forward bias and the reverse bias the diode is closed switch then the current is surviving or the flowing from hold the circuits and the resistance resistance is avoiding for the damaging of the diode that's why it's controlling the current and the diode is a uh, using as a forward bias only in a 0.7 when hold civilly call semiconductor diode and it's a reverse bias it's not conducting states because of the breakdown voltage is required in a reversed bias after barrier potential is increases the end region is creating a only negative charge 
and the p region c is creating only positive charge that's why diode is an open switch and it's not conducting in a reversed bias okay then the today's session is a rectifier it's going from the basic electronics in rectifier then today's content it's a content or the agenda of today's lecture in half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and beach wave rectifier before starting the rectifier it's a block diagram of rectifier what is the rectifier rectifier is using direct current to alternative current what is direct current is required for the dc pulsating dc it converts ac analog current into pulsating dc this is naming of the rectifier in our today's session for the rectifier this is the block diagram of rectifier is re converting or using a rectifier here the block diagram you can see your screen uh, is required one phase ac supply here the l and n is the line of the source terminal of the source is required single phase 230 volt ac supply what is the ac supply ac is the alternative current what is mean by alternative current it's a rectifying is not using a switching applications only but it's using a supply ac current to direct dc current and that is meaning of the regulated power supply here the transformer and main part is the rectifier then what is mean by rectifier rectifier is using a ac current to dc current ac current ac is the sinusoidal wave ac is sinusoidal wave and rectifying the outputs rectifying means uh, some pulses is getting in across the transformer this is the pulses is getting in a positive half cycle and negative half cycle in a positive half cycle diode is conducting in a positive polarities it's a given in a positive polarities for the supply is positive and negative but the secondary voltages here the transformer is connected to secondary voltage then what is mean by secondary voltage the transformer is connected in after the here step down transformer he is the primary connection and after secondary connections he is a connected for rectifier in a ac is converted to the dc and rectifier is only using ac to dc conversion of the conversion of the current it is a circuit which converts alternative current into pulsating dc pulsating and yani pulses pulses of the dc dc is the direct current there are three parameters or the three types of the rectifier one is the half wave rectifier full wave rectifier that is also naming of center tap full wave bridge rectifier full wave bridge rectifier these three types of the rectifier what is mean by half wave rectifier before starting the half wave rectifier first going through the block diagram this is the block diagram you can see still rectifier part after the filtering part is starting then the filter is using a capacitor filter that's why the capacitor is storing a maximum voltage to store the voltage in a constant way to design of the output is the filtering of the dc voltage and the output is get a voltage regulator across the regulated output then after that he is directly starting from the rectifiers what is by what is mean by rectification classification of rectifier rectifier is the half wave rectifier full wave rectifier full wave rectifier is using a two types one is the center tap and another is the bridge wave rectifier in a center tap in a center tap this is the primary voltage in opposite sides you can see the diagram is the positive half cycle 
and this is negative half cycle. This is the time period is the primary voltage with respect to the omega t. Miss, find out the time. Time is one millisecond. Then the sinusoidal wave is positive half cycle and negative half cycle is the total period is one millisecond. Means one into ten days to minus three. In a practically, we will perform for the Mm, practical session how to use in bridge rectifier or the half hour rectifier it's a practically perform how to measure in frequency time and the find out the voltage and the current with respect to particular wave rectifier it's a half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier or the bridge wave rectifier here sinusoidal wave given the positive Positive is connected to the primary of 230 volt 50 hertz, and it's a negative side. It's a conversion on a positive half cycle. Get the output of a positive in a positive half cycle and get the output of another diode. It's required for the negative half cycle. Then you can see the diagram of half wave rectifier. Here, fully wave is given with respect to the V in. Here, uh, assume there are three hole, peak to peak voltage, three hole peak to peak sine wave. The sine wave is connected to the supply. Supply here, 230 volt, 50 hertz sine wave. 230 volt, 50 hertz sine wave and connected to the diode. Diode, what is the diode? He is, he is PN junction diode. What is the working of PN junction diode? PN junction diode, it works in a P region. P regions, it's a holes. And N regions, it is free electrons. If the electrons is moving to P region, after, after supplying the electrons is moving P region and the holes is moving left to right, N region. If the junction is formation in electrons and the holes, if the junctions in formation of formation of junction is formation of holes and electrons, that's why N regions is created free every free electron. Every free electrons he is combines with holes. Then after that formation of the junction, each n region is creating a positive charge, and the p region is creating negative charge. That's why increasing or continue the voltage till barrier potential voltage is increasing. This is the voltage is required for the 0.7 volt. This is the barrier required for the conductions of diode. This is the minimum voltage of diode is conducting 0.7 volt with respect to is connected to the load resistor RL. L means RL. L load and R is the resistor with respect to the V out. That is the meaning of output voltage VP. Peak output voltage is equal to input voltage minus of the 0.7 volt diode voltage because diode is conducting only forward bias means the positive half cycle in a positive way diode is conducting in 0.7 volt in a forward bias and a negative half cycle this is not conductions in a reverse bias that's why here negative sign it's a in a negative half cycle here in output side it's mentioning the line the diode is not working in reverse bias why the diode is not working in reverse bias because diode in reverse bias is open switch here you can see the concept 
in a positive half way diode is connected to the single phase 230 volt is the supply then after that diode is conduction in a positive half cycle it's a forward bias yes this is required for the 0.7 volt for conduction yes then the current is flowing for all the circuits and the half wave rectifier is generating a single positive half cycle for the output side this is okay in a positive half cycle then negative half cycle diode goes to reverse the bias negative half cycle diode it goes to reverse bias and that's why here diode is off means open switch diode is open switch why the supply is connected to negative the in a end region is also electrons and the electrons he is not moving moving to p region and p region at the hole and the hole c is moving to electrons but the supply is negative hole c after the junction is formation electrons he is electrons n region c is formation in a positive charge and the p region c is formation in a negative charge but the supply is connected to negative the pre region is also negative then supply is also negative and the n region is also positive after the junction and the supply is also positive that's why diode is open switch and it is used in diode as a switch diode use as switch if it goes to reverse bias that is naming of the diode is off means it is not conduction state and if the diode is close switch in this diagram diode is close switch then it is a forward bias is required for the switch is on that's why in a waveform here you can see the waveform positive half cycle is the supply and a negative side diode is off also positive side diode is on that here the input voltage according to the time period if load current in current is circuitry flow then after 0.7 volt diode is conduction state that's why here the current is flowing smallest current and if the load is applied across the voltage then the current is flowing full circuitry of the load and last output voltage across the diode voltage across the diode diode is on period that is the period is only 0.7 volt then the diode is the diagram of this way if the voltage is increases like a 0.7 volt is the conduction state after that 0.8 0.9 0.10 in 0.1 then 1.1 1.2 volt 1.3 volt tilt you can increase 0.7 volt to till increased 10 volt that is the diagram it's increasing the voltage of diode the diode is conduction states at the output next here you can use both the diode in a first diagram it's only single diode it's required output side only 0.7 volt but here in a center tap full wave rectifier we can use two diodes one diode sees the 0.7 volt and another diode is also 0.7 volt means the supply voltage total supply voltage of full wave rectifier in diode 0.7 volt in positive half cycle and 0.7 in negative half cycle this diagram is indicates re for negative half cycle to positive half cycle for reversed bias and this diodes secondary by 2 v secondary voltage of the secondary divided by 2 positive half cycle to negative half cycle here you can use for the center tap means supply here changes for positive to negative till center tap and another negative to positive till center taps that's why this diode d2 is conducting in reverse the bias and diode d1 is conducted in a forward bias that's why 
full wave rectifier diodes is using diode D1 is 7, 0.7 volt and diode D2 is also 0.7 volt. That is the meaning of in a single cycle input voltage is required of the both the diode 1.4 volt. 0.7 volt plus diode D1 and 0.7 volt plus diode D2. Diode D1 plus D2 is equal to 1.7 volt in a center tap. Then how to conduction state in a forward bias as well as reverse bias in a full wave rectifier? This is the some formulas. After that solving of these sums, the some formulas I do given on that and that you can solve the some formulas and solve the some sum. Mm, full wave rectifier. Yes, here the full wave rectifier. Same diagram. But the diode D1 and the D2 is using in a 0.7 volt D1 and 0.7 D2. Here applying for 230 volt one phase single AC supply. And here the source 50 hertz. Frequency is the 50 hertz. Single phase AC. Alternative current 230 volt and the center tab. Center tab is assigned for the center of the transformer. Hello, students. Yes, ma'am. Okay, all of yes, you understanding or not? Understood. Half wave rectifier. It's any queries you can ask me. If half wave rectifier is not understand, then you don't know full wave rectifier. Hello. Hello. My voice is clear. Uh, Ma'am, half wave yes. rectifier, repeat. Kar. Half wave rectifier, repeat. Kar. Okay. This is a half wave rectifier input in a function generator. You can use sine wave. There are three waves. Which one? One is the sine wave. Another is the square wave and third is the triangular wave. The input is connected to the 230 hold 50 hertz sinusoidal wave. 230 hold 50 hertz sinusoidal wave here diode is a positive half cycle connected the diode is a positive half cycle single phase 230 volt 50 hertz is the alternative current and here the connected to the transformer first source is connected the primary terminal of transformer and here in between, this is the two line. These two lines is connected to the inductor coil. And here secondary coil, primary coil and here secondary coil. Primary transformer, here secondary transformer and this transformer is known as a step down transformer. Step down transformer. Then connected here the point A and the point B. Means terminal 1 A secondary point. Supply is, is connected. L means positive and N means negative. Here connected for the negative and upper side is connected positive. Here connected to diode. After the diode, diode point of anode. Anode means Positive or negative? A negative. Ah, yes. Positive and cathode. Anode is? Positive. Cathode is? Negative. Yes. Then diode. What is the diode? Diode is a conduction state. 0 0.7 volt is required for the conducting a diode. Then what is mean by diode? In a PN junction diode for the region of in a extrinsic extra days lectures i am already teaching for the pn junction diode this is the pn junction diode in a formation of p and the information of n if the p 
P region in a created holes and in N regions it is created in electrons. But if the formation of junctions how it is possible formation of junction? The P region of hole is moving of N region and N region of the hole electrons is moving of the P region. After the formation of junction, the N region of electrons he is creating a charge of positive charge and after the formation of the junction, the P regions is created a negative charge and it's a increasing of formation to continuous voltage of the junction that is meaning of barrier potential. And this is barrier potential of negative charge means a electrons and the positive charge is the holes that is require of the voltage of conduction in diode 0 0.7 volt 0 0.7 volt it's a require of the conduction in diode diode la conduction state sati kiti voltage required is 0 0.7 volt 0 .7. yes then in a half wave rectifier diode is conducted in a positive half cycle mean a forward bias diode is conducting only forward bias it is a on state and in a reverse bias it is open switch then it is not conducting in a reverse bias means applying for here applying for positive half cycle through the transformer current is flowing from the circuits. This is the I of L and the direction of the arrow, dotted arrow is the naming of current. If the positive half cycle diode is conduction state, diode is on and the forward in a diode is conducting to 0 0.7 volt in a positive half cycle, the waveform in output side is a output voltage is equal to input voltage what is the input voltage whatever you have to give one in a input peak to peak voltage peak to peak it is required for one volt peak to peak or it is required for two volt peak to peak or it is required for three volt peak to peak. whatever output is input is given that output side it's a input voltage peak to peak minus of the diode voltage 0 0.7 volt okay got it in a positive half cycle yes, in a sir. diode is a positive half cycle and here the diode is negative half cycle this is the reverse bias the require for the 230 volt 50 hertz ac supply connected to transformer here the supply is positive and direction of the positive supply in a primary side positive negative and here negative positive because of the diode is reversed bias and in a reversed bias diode is open switch why in a pn junction diode the p regions is created hole and n region is created electrons Electron. if the electrons is moving to holes and holes is moving to electrons in between the formation of junction formation of junction the p regions is a created a negative charge and after formation of electrons n region is created positive Hold. charge but the here supply is connected in a reverse the bias diode is open switch and that is no formation of barrier potential in a negative half cycle this is the negative half cycle in a negative half cycle diode is open switch then supply is connected here formation of the diode is open switch then the current is not flowing through hold the circuit and that's why outputs is mentioning here zero hold and in a negative half cycle here barrier potential voltage is increases that's why diode in reverse bias 
in not conduction states okay yes ma'am okay this is similar concept of full wave rectifier in a full wave rectifier there are using forward bias as well as reversed bias means two diodes is using and here the generated of the voltage 1.4 volt in a full wave rectifier here half circuit this is transformer is using in half wave rectifier yes and upper side of the circuit is also used in half wave half wave rectifier and another is the another diode of the circuits is using reverse the bias that's why full wave rectifier is conduction in a both the way positive half wave cycle and negative half wave cycle because here the supply is changing you can see the diagram here in a equivalent circuit of the positive half cycle of diode d1 first diagram supply voltage go through the primary primary is connected to secondary and here first diode d1 is on d1 in on for positive and here the center tap second point is negative if the diode is on state means the diode is open switch current is flowing through the whole the circuits of upper side and the negative means a negative cycle here the center tap is positive and here center tap is negative and reverse the bias diode d2 is off then at a time single diode is on and another diode to d2 is off because of it is possible only it's attaching in a secondary terminal for center tap then what is the working of center tap center tab is connected to the in between of the iron core that that core is current is distributing for upper side of diode d1 is some current and diode d2 is also some current in a diagram waveform here the waveform this is the positive half wave cycle input voltage required for the secondary voltage then vbo secondary voltage of vbo that is the meaning of the output voltage of secondary if the positive half wave cycle if the positive half wave cycle diode d1 is on diode d1 is on but it's a reverse the bias because it's a negative voltage is conducted in a here supply center tap is negative and here the supply is positive but the pn junction diode p regions after formation of the p region after formation of junction in a p region charge is created negative charge and the after n region the charge is after the junction in a n regions after the formation of junction in a n regions is created to positive charge means the p region c is a uh, anode and n region c is cathode and here the supply is changing according to the supply is changing diode its output gates for the negative half cycle and diode d2 is off here diode d1 is the output diode d1 is the conduction state of forward bias in a positive half cycle and it's a negative half cycle that diode d2 is off switch this is diode d2 is off and then up repeated for the equivalent circuits here repeated first d1 is off and the another supply supply is the current flowing through th d2 if a negative half cycle and, and in a negative half cycle the diode d2 is on and d1 is off that's why here the in a waveform diode d2 in a positive half cycle diode d2 is off and negative half cycle diode d1 is d2 is on and last one the supplying of diode d1 as well as d2 here the d1 is on in a forward bias 
and D2 is on in a another forward bias because of diode is working in only forward bias and in a reversed bias it is off or open switch. Open switch, correct. I think all of you got the half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier. All of you understand half wave as well as full wave. OK. Here. Similar for the bridge wave rectifier. It is not complex. It is easy as compared to the full wave rectifier because here diagram is only. Complex because of here only in a central tap. There are two diodes using and it's a generating of the 1.4 volt in a full wave rectifier, but in a bridge wave rectifier there are four voltage and at a time D1 and D2 is on means total 0.7 volt D1 0.7 volt D2. 0.7 volt D3 and the 0.7 volt D4 at a time two diodes working in a forward bias in a bridge wave rectifier during the positive half cycle of the input here you can use positive half cycle of the input in a diode conduction state diode D1 and D2 is conducting in a forward bias total output is 1.4 volt because of the two diodes is working in a same stage and another negative half cycle and uh, conduct the current and D3 and D4 is reverse bias. D3 and D4 is reverse bias means in a first stage positive half cycle D1, D2 is forward bias. It's a on state and D3 and D4 it's reverse bias means diode is open switch. OK, and the next diagram diode. Negative half cycle. In a negative half cycle, another diode D1 and D2 is reverse bias and D3 and D4 is forward bias. Means at a time 1.4 volt is generating in another way. Yes, then the diode D3 and D4 is using a forward bias 1.4 volt and diode D1 and D2 is a reverse bias. Means open switch. Okay. In a bridge wave rectifier, it's getting total 1.4 volt in D1 and D2. And in a reverse, another forward bias, diode D3 and D4 is a forward bias, means total 1.4 volts. It means bridge wave rectifier, it's a diode D1 and D2 plus. D3 and D4 in a conduction of forward bias is equal to total period of 2.8 volt. And that is the maximum voltage is generated in AC current. It's a rectifier is using alternative current to direct current because of is the maximum rectification is possible in only bridge wave rectifier. That's why in a circuit of the. Regulated power supply, the rectifier. Is used that's bridge wave rectifier is used in a rectifier circuitry. Rectifier Yes, wait, wait, wait. Huh? Here I'm a bridge wave rectifier. Yes. Uh, hello, ma'am. A uh, bridge wave rectifier. Ma'am, this a figure number one. Ma'am, D one and D two switch. A uh, a uh, close switch, eh, ma'am. D one and D two. Cutly figure figure he. Ha. Ite D one and D two he ka ite close uh, switch ah he. Ani yes, D four and D three ka ite open switch ah he. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. I'm in, a, in a figure one during the positive half cycle. This is the positive half supply. Supply is connected to the primary of transformer 
and the current is flowing to secondary of the transformer it's a working state the direction of the diode d1 and diode d2 it's a color indi it's a indication of the color diode d1 and d2 is blue color and it is a working state means on state diode d1 and d2 are forward bias and conduct the current and conduct the current through the d2 then d1 then rl and get the output and d3 uh, and d4 is reversed bias आ मैम माझा क्वेश्चन असा आहे की जर आर डी फोर स्विच जर ओपन स्विच आहे म्हणजे आर डी टू स्विच कडून जे हे येणार आहे मॅम करंट तो इथे क्लोज इथे 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 जो नोड दिलेला आहे दिस इज द नोड इथेच करंट स्टॉप होऊन जाईल इट्स अ स्टॉपिंग ऑफ द करंट अक्रॉस द नोड ऑफ डी टू येस मॅम करंट कुठन येईल इकडनं दाखवते हे करंटचं डायरेक्शन दाखवले हा इथे ग्राउंड आहे देन हे इज कनेक्टेड टू द डी थ्री हा एक नोड वन नोड वन नोड टू नोड थ्री अँड द नोड फोर इट्स अ करंट इज फ्लोईंग टू डी टू अक्रॉस द निगेटिव्ह सप्लाय ऑफ सेकेंडरी ट्रान्सफॉर्मर देन पॉझिटिव्ह सप्लाय ऑफ द ट्रान्सफॉर्मर देन कंडक्ट करंट द डी वन then the direction of the current d1 through the node of rl and that ground okay okay ma'am hmm. and okay. in a diagram to it's a positive half negative half cycle here the supply in secondary is positive for down and negative is the upper but the transformer it's require a fuse why because transformers its a supply is getting negative supply and the fuse is working in a transformer in negative side then negative center tap here transformer negative here positive then the current is flowing through the direction of here the starting of through the ground current is flowing to the node of d3 then d3 is connected to the supply of the node of here another node then here negative supply center tap then positive then ground then center tap of d4 node then d4 is conduction then rl and then ground this is the diagram 2 and diode d3 and d4 is a blue indication means on and d1 and d2 is off then d1 at sorry d3 and d4 is a forward bias and conduct the current through the d3 and d4 and d1 and d2 is reverse bias it is open switch okay understood yes ma'am understand it okay understand then here the comparison of half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier you can see the number of diodes in a property or the parameters in half wave over common parameters then rectifier center tap and the bridge wave rectifier number of diodes it's required half wave 1 center tap 2 and the bridge 4 secondary voltage vm vm is maximum voltage m is indicate maximum and v it indicates voltage then center tap to vim because of here working of at a time single one diode is conduction in a positive cycle single one diode in negative half cycle another diode that's why here require for the two vm but here only vm what is the difference bet between maximum voltage or the center tap center taps it's working at a time single diode another diode is off but the bridge wave rectifier at a time two diode it's working and another two diodes is off stage that's why the maximum voltage of half wave rectifier and the bridge wave rectifier using a rectification maximum rectification it's possible for alternative current to direct current conversion 
then next waveform your output maximum voltage of divided by 20 by uh, 22 by 7 or the 3.14 it's a pi value to convert the maximum peak to peak voltage then here 2 pi 2 vm divided by pi 2 vm divided by pi then ripple factor the ripple factor is 1.21 0.4482 and here bridge wave rectifier is also 0.482 the rectification efficiency this is most important the efficiency is half wave rectifier 40.6 center tab is 81.2 and the bridge wave rectifier is also 81.2 then the transformer utilization 2.87 and here 0.692 and here the bridge wire rectifier 0.881 this is most important question comparison of half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier eight marks okay already shared Hello, all, PPT. all the ppt you can check also refer the book yes uh, which rectifier is used in large amount of electronics devices bridge okay ma'am bridge because of here it's a gate input voltage 2.8 volt because of there are four diode it's using and more diode it's using for 1.4 volt 1.4 volt another 1.4 volt that's why the total 2.8 volt yes ma'am there are four diodes then it's a rectification it's using bridge wave rectifier Next special purpose diode, it's a Zener diode. What is the difference between PN junction diode and the Zener diode? Zener diode is the different. It is working in a reverse bias. And PN junction diode is working in a forward bias. This is the difference between only symbol of a diode. It's working in reverse bias. This is the reverse bias diagram. But PN junction diode is working in a forward bias then what is the zener diode zener it's a breaking point and the knee point is maximum current flowing through the circuits it is also known as regulated inner diode it's a maximum revolution for ideal this is the ideally zener diode here practically zener diode supply is the positive negative here the positive is the cathode and the negative is the anode and in practically it's required for the impedance what is mean by z z is the impedance for particular resistor controlling the current controlling the current what is mean by zener zener diode here the practically this is the diagram of zener zener cathode positive anode negative and it's required the z then how to zener test current maximum current or the knee current you can see here it uses the relatively constant reverse breakdown voltage constant relative this is a constant breakdown voltage after the increasing current it's produce a voltage reference it's produce voltage reference voltage reference that point is known as the breakdown voltage called as the zener voltage and the output voltage of the circuits is showing of the vz the pauses of the variation in the input voltage and the resistors is used to limit the current in the diode limit or it's a controlling the current through the resistor that is the meaning of the resistors is required to connected in the terminal of cathode in between the cathode and the supply voltage resistor is must you can see the zener diode working what is the zener diode here zener diode zener diode in 
फॉरवर्ड बायस दिस इज द करंट लिमिटिंग रेजिस्टर करंट लिमिटिंग रेजिस्टर सप्लाय वोल्टेज पॉजिटिव सप्लाय वोल्टेज गिट द रेजिस्टर थ्रू द टर्मिनल ऑफ एनोड हियर द कैथोड इफ द वर्किंग इज सेमिलर फॉर पी एन जंक्शन डायोड बट ओनली इन अ फॉरवर्ड बायस द जीनर डायोड इज नॉट वर्किंग in a reverse bias it is working because here the supply is positive and the zener diode supply is also here negative negative of the anode and the cathode to connected in a circuitry zener what is mean by zener zener is the type of the diode it allows to current to flow not only from its anode to its cathode but it also in reverse direction in a zener voltage is reached it is not only from anode to cathodes but is also reverse direction because of it's a possible of reverse direction and it is working on reversed only not positive it's working only reverse and that's working is reverse is the naming of zener reverse voltage zener reverse voltage and it is most probably used in a reversed bias voltage of zener diode vz is occurs to the breakdown voltage it is also increasing the source voltage then reverse zener voltage is also increase but it is not forward voltage is increase it is reverse voltage is increase that is operation of the pn junction diode it is a cut in voltage in a forward bias but sir reverse bias is a conduction state after 0.7 volt diode is conduction and uh, get the maximum reverse voltage across the zener diode and that point is known as avalanche breakdown voltage in a zener reverse region avalanche breakdown voltage because of the if breakdown voltage in a reverse voltage reverse breakdown voltage is decrease then the junction of zener region is also increase and that is the junction is possible in only reversed bias that condition is known as avalanche breakdown zener avalanche reverse zener voltage and here the difference between pn junction diode and the zener diode it's a uh, pn junction diode flow only one direction because it's at a time single diode is on then the diode is only forward bias is open close switch and in reverse bias open switch but in a zener this is working in both the direction forward as well as reverse direction but the pn junction diode is reverse biasly permanently damage for this depletion region but here electricity is flow in both the direction that's why in a regulation most probably use in a switch for zener diode zero regulation voltage then width of depletion region is large because of the path of n region and the p region slightly doped path is increase after the reverse bias barrier path is increase and that's why the its width or complexity of the diode circuits is increase but here it's a narrow path is increase in p region as well as n region and it is heavily doped as compared to the pn junction diode and pn junction diode is used as a rectification and zener diode used as a voltage regulation you can see the diagram of the power supply this is the voltage here the rectifier is rectifier block diagram of regulated power supply in a block diagram of regulated power supply here in a rectifier circuits only alternative current to direct convert its converts alternative current to direct current is using bridge wire rectifier for rectifying circuit 
voltage and a voltage regulator here you can use convert the voltage dc to dc voltage this is the regulated voltage dc to dc voltage that's why here using zener diode okay in a analog circuitry most probably used for the rectifier filter and a voltage regulator in a rectifier used for the bridge rectifier in a filter using for the capacitor filter and in a voltage regulator using a zener reversed zener reverse diode voltage zener diode in reversed bias voltage for voltage regulator okay This is the voltage regulator in reverse bias because of there are load resistors is required in a circuitry. Maximum voltage is using in reverse bias. The load resistors is controlling the current for the current limiting resistors is required for the zener diode. Okay, all of you under. Hello. Here I am for uh, is for the first because of the in a Friday it's a first unit test and the syllabus is over for a next one lecture LED and photobiode. I am revision for the in a practical session is also for the Zener diode experiments. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank yes. you all. Yeah. Thank you. Are you going to test today, ma'am? Uh, Friday. It's a coming Friday. After the finishing of first unit, uh, there are one lecture is required. And uh, I think Thursday is the one lecture. Then syllabus is over. Only LED and photodiode is remaining. The next lecture we will continue for these two points. And then you appear for the unit test Friday. Okay, ma'am. Okay. This is the Zener diode voltage limiter. You can see and uh, complete your refer the book PPT already shared on that. You can check it and all the best. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. My material. Wait, wait, wait. I am stop the recording.